So, you know, we all know um, how molecularly aberrant um, endometrial cancer is. There's so many um, aberrations in the PI3 kinase AKT pathway. So, Solomon and colleagues have attempted to really act on those abnormalities. So, you know, thus far, single agent activity in the PI3 kinase pathway has been modest and somewhat disappointing. Um, but previously, um, researchers at MD Anderson have identified a combination with Everlimus and Letrozole that yielded really nice responses and um, stable disease in a group of you know, pre-treated endometrial cancer patients after um, chemotherapy. So when they looked back at their data in that particular study, uh, which was published in the JCO in 2015, they noticed that there appeared to be an increased benefit, clinical benefit, either more responses or more stable disease in the group of patients that were treated with metformin in addition to everlimus and letrozole. And they could have gotten that metformin for their diabetes or for treatment of the toxicities that are found with Everlimus. So they went ahead and designed a phase two trial to look at all three. So this was a combination of Everlimus, Letrozole, and Metformin, all three oral drugs, in recurrent um, endometrial cancer one to two priors, and they found response rates of 30% in a previously treated uh, population, which is essentially unheard of, well outperforming um, many of the other chemotherapies that we've tried in this disease. Um, and interestingly, they had a clinical benefit rate in just to bring everyone up to speed, that would include any objective responses as well as people that have stable disease for more than four months. That clinical benefit rate was 67%. So really, the large majority of these patients benefited from treatment with this combination. Um, they did attempt to correlate response and clinical benefit to the presence of KRAS mutations, and as, as yet, there have been no associations between that abnormality and response. Um, but they're drilling down and doing some additional translational work to see if they can truly identify who benefits the most from this treatment. You know, going forward, it will be a question to see, do you really need to add that third drug? Is letrozole and everlimus enough? Or um, are there other drugs that potentially could, could be combined to get an even um, uh, greater benefit from these treatments?